Tropical storm Bonnie didn't turn out to be much of a tropical storm at all here in Grand Isle, Louisiana. It's been pretty much like this all day, bright, sunny. It's actually a beautiful day. There have been periods of overcast and some light drizzle, but for the most part, it's been like this. Early in the morning, though, we did see some severe weather where the skies got very dark. There was some thunder, lightning, and strong winds, but that only lasted for a brief period of time, and then it cleared out pretty fast. And, of course, the best news of all is that BP is calling off its evacuation and will be sending ships back to the rig site in order to plug up that well. Although most of the crews were evacuated, BP did keep the ROV crew still at the site, so we were able to see images of that experimental cap on the well. Well, and it was able to stay intact. But of course, now the problem is, is that getting all those crews that were evacuated back out onto the water could take a few more days. So it has delayed plugging up that well. And no one could be happier about BP finally putting a permanent plug on that well more than the people here in Grand Isle. Their beaches are still closed. They're allowed out onto the sand, but not allowed in the water because of the threat of oil still. And one more thing to keep in mind is that this is just the start of hurricane season. Even though Tropical Storm Bonnie was relatively mild, that doesn't mean that they couldn't have a more severe storm to come. One resident even joked with me saying Bonnie passed through, but Clyde is right behind her. So they dodged this bullet, but they, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll dodge the next one. In Grand Isle, Louisiana, Bonnie Gauche, The Associated Press.